In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to grade papers using video or audio feedback. So let's suppose we have an assignment here. Let's say assignment one, we scroll down to, and we want to grade this paper. The paper will show up here on the left hand side. You could make comments directly on the paper if you wanted by using this tool right here and point out specific areas or spelling or whatever it is that you want to point out. Now on the right hand side, once you have re reviewed the paper and such, on the right hand side here you can place the grade that they received in the paper and then here you type your comments and this was time consuming particularly if you were to give very detailed uh, feedback for your students. You can provide feedback either via audio or by using the video recorder. So in this case if I want to record video for the student feedback you just click on the video recording thing here. Now it may ask you to allow there will be a prompt here on the top left depending on what browser you're using to allow the webcam to be utilized. So you need to click yes, of course, for that to take place. Then here, once you press start recording, that's when you can start giving your feedback for your students. And uh, at this point, you can just outline as to what the issues of the paper are and such. So you could say a good um, thesis statement. However, there were a couple areas that need improvement, uh, particularly in the specific steps for to improve in public speaking and such. So you just need to outline what they need to improve and, uh, and such. When you're ready, you press stop. And then you, here you can uh, play this video. And uh, at this point, if you don't like it, you can re-record it again. And if you like it, you can just simply uh, press attach recording. Once you're done with your, your video recording here, you can simply press save and show the next. If I go here as a student to this paper, they'll go to e-learning, they'll click on that specific assignment, and then they'll see what grade they got in it. And then down here, they're going to see the video feedback. All they have to do here is press play, and that video will be playing and, uh, for them. Now they can see the same feedback as well from grades. If they click on grades and they scroll down under that specific activity, they'll see what grade they got and also they can see the feedback video that you gave to them. So this is very powerful and very effective, particularly in online courses or any courses to kind of give that personal connection with the students and provide them sufficient feedback, but in less time. So you're grading more papers, providing more feedback, but in less time overall. Now if you wanted to do the audio feedback only, you can go back to the assignment here and let's uh, go back to, let's say, the one that I graded earlier. I'm going to delete the video feedback and now I want to do audio feedback. You just click on audio here, plus start recording. And then you just provide the feedback with all the comments that you want to include for your student. When you're ready to stop the recording, just press stop recording. You'll get a preview here so you can play it. And if you want, don't like it, you can re record it. Then press attach recording. Then press submit changes. And then if we go and log in here as a student, the student will see this is from the grade book. They'll see what grade they got, and also they'll have an audio recording that they, they can play from and then you the just grade book. The feedback. Now, if they also go under the course activity and go under that specific assignment, they'll be able to see what they submitted, the, what grade they got, and then also what the feedback they got from you from the instructor. They can also see the annotated PDF as well with your comments on it. And then since we are here using the recorder, this tool is also available for you to give directions for your students as to what they have to do or what the requirements for the paper are. So all you have to do in that case 
is click on edit settings and you can use this on any type of activity wherever you see this icon so you can simply if you want to insert a quick video here about this assignment you can simply press record video start recording and then just explain what the assignment is going to be about for example uh, create a five or write a five page research paper with three references and such and um, post it before the end of the unit then once you are done with it you press attach recording and now the requirements here for this paper have been posted so all you have to do is press save and display and then the students will be able to review the requirements for this assignment via video just explain what the assignment is going to be about mm -hmm.